from last 15 months i have been teaching you a lot of skills on my channel but then what is the point of learning those skills if you cannot put them to use and earn some money out of it or probably turn it into a career this video is going to be a little long just like the subject for which you are not prepared during examination also success does not come to those who are looking for shortcut like some people who are thinking of skipping the video and going ahead please don't do that subscribe to the channel because this video is going to change the way you look at social media now before i begin let me tell you a small thing which most of you may not be knowing about or also maybe knowing about way back in 2007 2008 2009 there was a social media networking site called as orkut which was a product of google like how youtube is but then came facebook and it took over orkut and today nobody knows about orkut i had made so many friends i did a lot of networking over there but now all of that is gone there is no guarantee which social media will come when and take over the other and that the other will no longer be there so that simply mean that anything can happen any social media app or social media website can come and take over the other and you have lost all your contacts which you have built over a period of months or over a period of years now to give you a classic example i'm going to make you understand what do i actually mean by what i've said now now say you're staying in a rented house there are two things the house is not yours the owner can ask you to leave the house any moment right because it is not your home it happened with one of my friend where the landlord called him and said hey my son is coming back from the us i'm sorry i am giving you 8 to 10 days of time you have to vacate my house imagine the stress stress of moving the entire house which is already set for a very long time finding a new house new neighborhood a nice place moving the entire setup to a new new surrounding altogether moreover he had taken some loans on the based on the paper the agreement paper on that house now everything has to change the bills will come to their house and he will be staying somewhere else he ultimately has to move out of the house because it is not his house similarly tomorrow there is no guarantee that i have built a follower base of 26000 plus people now or a period of 7 to 8 years now tomorrow instagram decides to just vanish or just go out of the social media business i have lost my entire fan following which i built over a period of years it took me a lot of efforts imagine the pain that you you will go through because there, there are people who have a fan following of 50000 or million also now it's not easy to build that kind of following that's why i insist that you create your own website and meanwhile you can ask your current subscriber or your follower to tell hey i also have my own website you can come there you can visit me there i have lots more for you over there now i'm going to explain you the benefits of having a website the benefit of website are that your client takes you more seriously because you appear more professional it's like your own house or office online your own address which you can say hey this is mine i mean this is my own website come and check my work over there basically it gives a sense of authentication and genuineness to your clients when you build your own website you have your own domain the domain mean like say i am going to create my own website called sadikslens.com that is my domain today i am using an email address which is sadikslens@gmail.com when i build my own website i'll have my own personal domain which is be sadik@sadikslens.com now which sounds more professional to you sadikslens@gmail.com or sadik@sadikslens.com definitely the latter so that is a very good feeling that you have your own domain and people are sending you emails on that when you have your own website it is like your own house you are totally in control of that you are paying for your domain no one can ask you to move out of there no one can shut it down unless you do something very really funny and that is not legal but i'm sure which we no one which which no one is going to do so here you have your own homes isn't that great once you have your own website create about us or about me 
uh, section where you can talk about yourself as a photographer, how long you have been pursuing photography, like I have been doing that since last 10 plus years now. I have been um, featured on Instagram, on the Net Geo, your shot on Sony BBC Earth. Now these are like credentials to your work, to your profile. So you can put all of those, you can put some big project you have, you have done for big clients in a nutshell to say that okay you are capable of doing that. So once somebody comes to your website and see you are about me page, they know that okay, this guy knows the job and he has achieved so much in different domains and different genres. Now once you build your website and you put your about me page or your tab, you have to ensure that you have put your services very nicely and neatly in a categorized manner. For instance, if you are a wedding photographer, mention that you are offering pre-wedding photography, pre-wedding videography, you are offering traditional photography, candid photography during wedding. You can mention you are also offering album services. That way if a client comes to your website, he knows what he is expecting from you and these are the services you are offering. In each category, put in some nice 4 or 5 photographs so that your client sees your work right there and then itself rather than calling and telling you, hey I need to see some sample. You can tell him all of it is there on the website. Once more and more traffic start come to your website, it is good for you because that's how your search engine optimization becomes strong. But you have to also ask somebody who's into website development to do that search engine optimization for you. If somebody is looking for a wedding photographer, they simply go and type in the Google tabs, wedding photographer near me. That way your website should rank in the top 5, top 6 or top 10 at least for you to generate more lead that will happen over a period of time as more and more people come to your website and you generate more traffic on it. One of the best things that I find of having a website is that you can put your latest work on your website, on your home page. Unlike the social media, like on Instagram, if you put a particular post six months back, it is going to be right down there in the order. It's not going to be appearing in the latest post because that's how it works. If you shot a wedding one week back and you can upload some nice photos of that particular wedding that you did one week back, after a couple of weeks you do a new wedding, you can add those photos. That way you are adding fresh content always. So somebody who comes to your website, he is not seeing the same repeated content again and again. You always have something new and unique to show them. If you are one of those photographers who have a multi-genre in photography, you are also doing food photography, you are doing product photography, you are doing wedding photography and so on and, on and so forth. That way please categorize your work nicely because that's your own website. You can do a lot over there. There is no restriction. Have separate tabs or separate links that makes it a lot more easier for your client to navigate through your work portfolio. If you are into brand collaboration as an influencer on Instagram or any other social media, you need to have a brand collaboration page on your website. If a particular brand wants to work with you, you can tell them, hey, or send them a link, say this is my link on my website. I have put in all my work that I have done in context to collaboration. They go there and they see all the collaboration that you have done with other brand that make them very well aware that you know about collaboration, how it works and it becomes very easier for you to seal the deal with a new client. I also suggest that you can write a blog or have a blog section on your website that way you can share some of your personal experiences with people who come to a website like for instance you must have traveled to Kashmir or any other uh, holiday destination you can mention in a nutshell what were the experience like for instance you tried skiing you had some local food you saw some unique place you can just mention all of that and have a small picture over there uh, of each of the location or the place you visited that way people will be more engaged and they know that this guy is traveling he's visiting places and he's sharing experiences that is on a lighter note people would like to see that I cannot emphasize enough from this point that I'm going to talk to you about, about customer testimonial. Customer testimonial simply means that a customer is speaking on your behalf. If you have done a good project for somebody, which I'm sure you always do, you can always tell a client, Sir, ma'am, I hope you like my services and the way we delivered the project to you well on time. Please send an email talking about our services that we have given you recently. That way the client can write you an email saying, hey, this a guy I worked with, like I worked with Sarik, he was very humble, he delivered that project well on time, he knew his job and I would highly recommend his services to anybody who is looking to hire him as a professional. Now imagine if a potential customer comes to your website and he's seeing that a customer has already spoken so highly about you in the customer testimonial page or tab, 
it makes your job so lot easier you don't have to sell yourself that hard that person knows okay this company has already recommended services that means this guy is good 50% or beyond 50% of your sale is just done there so do not forget to add a customer testimonial page to your website and ask your customer to send you a testimonial because that is the right and they'll be more than happy to do that for you now most of the time our clients say hey what are the costing or what are the prices that you're going to offer so you can have a section which talks about rack rate so just mention your rate in general for instance if you're a wedding photographer you can say i charge anywhere between 10 to 15 thousand for one day shoot a candid wedding photography shoot if you're a product photographer you can mention i charge anywhere between 15 to 20 thousand rupees with two light setup and a single camera setup for a particular shoot for one day that way your client knows okay what to expect from you uh, on terms of costing and that's how they call you it becomes more easier for you to close that deal because the client already knows about your services they have seen your sample images on your website and they know about your costing so that's very easy to crack a deal if you have shot some really good images which are sellable on the internet like be it product photography like probably you have shot some uh, images of fruits or juices or probably you have traveled to a good location and you have a nice beautiful travel related photograph you can sell them online you can integrate payments into your website uh, internet banking debit card credit card and people can simply place an order on your website and have those prints delivered to them that way you're making money two ways you're also offering people your services and you're selling your prints you can use the contact us form in a nice way and in a very lucrative manner by mentioning all your services over there somebody who wants to send you an email comes to your contact us form selects the service they want for instance they want product photography services they can select that on your contact us page and write an email and ask you about the detail that way you know that in your inbox you got a particular mail which is in context to product photography last but not the least if you are on social media and you have a lot of followers or subscribers or you have just started off you can tell people hey i have a community uh, page on my website come there and engage with me let's have a talk you can put up any kind of a post over there they can put a comment the way they comment on your post on instagram and a particular video on youtube that way you're building a strong community on your own website where you are actually going to live no matter instagram comes and goes twitter comes and goes something else comes and goes you have your permanent address and your audience knows that okay no matter what happens this guy has a website and we can always connect with him or her over here so i hope you understood the power of having your own website where you have total control of your content your website you can design it the way you want i hope this video has really made some sense if it has please subscribe to the channel i have similar videos for you to watch